Funding for this video was provided by ISTEC, the Information Science and Technology Center at Colorado State University. These students are searching for a hidden geocache using a global positioning system device. The cache's exact latitude and longitude was downloaded from a website and the GPS device is used to locate it. The caches are often well hidden and are not easily visible. Global positioning system satellites have transformed pinpointing locations on Earth. Four or more GPS satellites are used simultaneously to establish a location on the planet's surface. Anyone with a GPS receiver can plot their location anywhere on Earth using these satellites. The students could not hope to find the hidden cache without the GPS location device. Geographic information systems use remote sensing devices and computers to capture and analyze information about specific locations on Earth. GIS software is used by cartographers, urban planners, emergency responders, and geographers to improve the quality of life for humans and animals. The field of working in geographic information systems is very exciting right now because there's all kinds of things going on in all activities that you can think of in terms of the job market. Uh, you have things going on with respect to uh, managing natural disasters. Uh, people go in there all the time to make maps to try to rescue people, to try to figure out ways to help species that are um, being impacted by a natural disaster, such as what happened in the, in the Gulf just this last year. You have things going on with respect to climate change. Uh, the continent of Africa is, is experiencing climate change in a, a remarkable degree. I mean, this is really what it's all about, looking at the earth in that way and being able to zoom in and zoom out and put different layers of information on top of it and ask interesting questions about places. Yeah, and uh, GIS and computer mapping can be used for any application that involves spatial data. Trucking firms, can keep track of their trucks as they drive across the country, just to have a map come up on the screen, see where their truck drivers are. I just love maps. I've always loved maps. And I've always loved computers. And uh, it's just a lot of fun. Algebra and trigonometry are probably the two most important ones. So knowing like angles and shapes, things like that, area of a circle. The students have found the approximate location of the cache by using their GPS device and are searching all possible hiding places for it. This one is very carefully hidden and is covered in camouflage tape to make it even more difficult to see. Inside are a log sheet to note who located it and some small prizes to take away. I'm Esther Worker and I work at the Esri Denver office located in Broomfield, Colorado. Well, I think my interest in exploring came pretty early. I can remember being in third grade and being the navigator on our family vacations. And that's pretty typical of a GIS professional. You'll find out that they have been giving directions in their family vacations for years. They've been asking questions. Why can't we go here? This is a shorter way to go. Let's do this. I like GIS technology because it's a technology that's really making a difference in the world. It uh, is driven by large amounts of data and that data is then analyzed and queried to help solve problems. Whether it's helping to fight forest fires or wildfires, we're always trying to make the world a better place. My name is Jay Smith. I'm a graduate of CSU's Electrical and Computer Engineering Department. I got my PhD in 2008. Uh, I currently work for Digital Globe, a satellite image processing firm. Uh, we own and operate three satellites. The way people most commonly come into seeing Digital Globe imagery is either through the nightly news. So if a disaster happens, an event happens, because the satellite flies over is unaffected by what's on the ground, typically that's the first sight that anybody gets of a disaster. Google Earth is probably the place that most commonly people get access to our imagery. Each image is 10 to 40 or more gigabytes a piece, and we collect thousands of those. We had um, quite a few people in the uh, BP command centers for months helping with 
not only where the oil spill was going and uh, potential direction in modeling the oil spill, but also with the Fish and Wildlife Service and the Coast Guard for tracking the animals that were injured or that had um, oil and that needed to be cleaned up. Um, we did a lot with mobile GIS, so we have folks out there with GPS devices that are tracking the oil spill as well as animals. So any, any business or government agency that uses maps uh, can use GIS to help uh, do their planning, whether they're doing a forest service, could be fighting a fire, uh, they can use GPS units to track the fire, uh, then map out the fire locations, how fast it's spreading. If you like reading maps and tracking your location while traveling, you might enjoy a future career using geographic information systems and GPS devices. These technologies have transformed our knowledge about the Earth and the activities of humankind around the globe. They have proven essential during emergencies such as fires, floods, and other disasters. The future of the Earth depends on GIS-enhanced knowledge and our wise stewardship of the planet's resources. For more information on careers in GIS and GPS-related professions, see the ISTEC website at istech.colostate.edu.